What's good, y'all? What's good? It's your boy Nick here. We at the Regency 8 here in Fontana. And of course, we're going to check out this flick right here. No Escape. Yeah, the new joint with uh, Owen Wilson and Lake Bell. My man Pierce Brosnan with the assist. Uh, directed by the Dowdle Brothers, I believe. Or at least one of them. And uh, yeah, we're about to check out this flick. We're about to throw some kids off a, a roof and everything and see how it is surviving in uh, Indonesia. You know what I mean? So uh, let's get in there. Check out No Escape. Aight. All right, yeah, yeah, it's your boy Nick here. We at the Regency 8 here in Fontana. About to check out No Escape. About to get in there, y'all. So let's check it out. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, you gonna get a bullet. Not a warning, not a question. No escape. Yeah, that was no escape. No escape, y'all. No escape. Escape gets a big old giant thumbs up, y'all. Big old giant thumbs up. <sighs> yeah, y'all. Yeah, y'all. No escape, man. No escape was a very, very good movie, man. Um, I, there hasn't been a horror movie that had me on the edge of my seat like this movie, man. I mean, it's it's definitely if you saw The Impossible. Then uh, it's it it's even be. ten times more intense than the impossible. Uh, no escape, dude. If you got a heart pumping in your chest, this movie will get you going, dude. It will. Oh man. Um, yeah, I, I'm kind of speechless. I'm supposed to be doing a review right now, but I can't because to have to go through what they went through, man, it's crazy. It was like the impossible, a little bit of uh, the Eli Roth movie Aftershock. It was just, whew, man, just just get away and, and, and save your family, man. Um, this brother right here, Pierce Brosnan, his brother Pierce Brosnan, man, it's, it's not a Bond movie, but he's still playing James Bond, saving the day and everything, man. You, you, you just got to love that dude, uh, Pierce Brosnan, dude. Remington Steele, Bond, all that stuff. You just got to love him. Owen Wilson, Lake Bell, best performances. Lake Bell pretty much... Uh, Reprising a little bit of toughness she learned from uh, that movie Black Rock, um, yeah, and the two kids, it it was just perfect, man. It was it just had you in the moment of of this movie from start to finish. There wasn't a boring moment. There wasn't a false moment. I don't see how you couldn't like this movie, man. Um, the Dowdle Brothers, y'all y'all did y'all thing, man. Y'all and put it down for this one, man. Y'all definitely uh, good job, good job. No escape, y'all. No escape. Go see it, y'all. Oh, man. So, um, I just kind of repeated myself over and over again, but, yeah, man, No Escape is that, is that film that you want to go out and see. It will have you on the edge of your seat. Make you want to kiss your, your family. It also want to, uh, makes you appreciate, you know, where you are living right now. And there was a little bit of truth that Pierce Brosnan spoke in the film and let you know that we all complicit. You know what I mean? Um, and I won't give that away, but it's a moment that was definitely needed. It, yeah, I, I'll definitely be purchasing this film on DVD, Blu-ray. However, you know, but um, No Escape was that joint, y'all. Go see it. Go see it. Go see it. It's your boy Nate for me in the movies. I, I'm, it's, it's, I, I don't want to. I don't want to speak on it no more. I just want you to go out and see this film, yo. Oh man. Piers Brosnan went, went out like a G. That's all I gotta say. He went out like a G, yo. Talk about fist pump moment, yo. Woo. Anyways, I'm about to go chill. I'm about to go calm my nerves. It's your boy Neek, me in the movies. We at the Regency 8 here in Fontana. And we just saw No Escape. And it was beautiful. It was a beautiful struggle, y'all. Let's go check out the trailer. And we out. What up, y'all? What up, y'all? This is days later. But we uh, speaking on final thoughts on a film that I, f I feel is the best movie of 2015 so far. 
and that is No Escape. Yo, No Escape, directed by, uh, what's my man's name? John Eric Dowdle, I believe. It's my dude who directed Quarantine, uh, of the Brothers Dowdle. Those cats who dropped those uh, Poughkeepsie tapes back in the day that nobody really got a chance to see. Um, and he also, like I said, Quarantine, which was the remake of Wreck, the European giant. I, I forget if it's French or whatever, I don't know. And he also directed uh, As Above, So Below, which was uh, the uh, Paris Catacombs flick that I actually never saw. And he directed the, the, the joint from uh, M. Night Shyamalan. That, that M. Night wrote, Devil. And that was the first signs of the return of M. Night Shyamalan. Because next weekend, we're going to check out The Visit, y'all. Which I'm hearing is the, that boy's prodigal return. But anyways, we're talking about No Escape. Yo, No Escape, Owen Wilson, Lake Bell, doing it. You know what I'm saying? This is this movie was uh, tailor made. This role was tailor made for Owen Wilson. I was discussing it with somebody else that even a similar actor, Paul Rudd, wouldn't have been right for this film. It was tailor made for Lake Bell. Excuse me. It was tailor made for Owen Wilson and Lake Bell with her kind of. Um, see, Lake Bell, she has this athleticism to her, but also she has this. Uh, softness to her as well where you believe her as just your, your, you know mother caring for her two daughters so it was perfect for her as well she can play dainty and coy as well as strong and domineering so uh, I thought it was great casting with her as well and uh, the two little girls the the elder girl and the younger girl were great they were a great cast as well the most poignant moment of this film y'all and I'm going to spoil it a little bit. We're going in a little spoilery territory right now. The most poignant moment of this film. Ah, it was such a heartbreaker for me, y'all. It was a heartbreaker. There was a moment where they just trying to escape the turmoil that's going on. And uh, they got a, br a brief moment to breathe. To just recoup and, and, and just chillax a little for a second. And the youngest daughter had to go to the bathroom. She had to use it. And of course, they couldn't expose themselves to any of the rebels and everything so they wouldn't get killed. So she had to just go. The parents are trying to shield their, their, their two daughters away from the extreme situation that they all caught in and the moment. But for a six-year-old little girl, her world is crushed and dissolved and crumbled when her parents tells her that she just has to go use the bathroom on herself in that moment. To a six-year-old child, that's everything. She, she didn't feel like no baby, but she's having to do that like a baby. And that made it all the more real for her. Is it the most poignant moment? Really, no. The most poignant moment is uh, that trailer scene, that trailer moment. The, you know, the moment in the trailer that got you to go see the flick. Mm. Y'all know what I'm talking about. And even still with that moment, with the elder daughter, she, she was old enough to say, no, this shouldn't be going down. And she was trying to, in a way, resist a mo in, a, in a bit, which she shouldn't have been doing. So, um, this movie had me, dude. This movie had me. This movie had me like Holly Berry in 92. <laughs> you know? Sorry about that, y'all. But this movie had me, y'all. This movie, No Escape, is the best film of 2015. Conceived and written by the brothers Dowdle. And executed and directed by uh, John Eric Dowdle, I believe. And it's their, their maturation, their graduation into real filmmaking because that's what this is. Very much like Eli Roth's uh, Aftershock and also The Impossible with Ewan McGregor and um, and uh, my darling, I forget her name. Um, Jeez Louise. 
I feel so bad. But oh well. Um, yeah, go check out The Impossible, y'all. <laughs> go check out No Escape, y'all. No Escape is that, that film for 2015. It's the best of 2015, y'all. So go check it out. And if you want to torture yourself, go peep this trailer as well. ago I could not have pictured myself dragging my family to the other side of the world to start over. What if we don't like it here? I think we will. <laughs> Welcome to Asia. You're gonna love it here. your family the hell out of here.